Rock will throw the first punch. Too bad. Should have stayed in Cobra Kai. Could have been a badass. Who's badass now? Hey, what's up, guys? It's Aiden Minx. I play Mitch on Cobra Kai, and you're watching Monday Morning Critic Podcast. Yep. <laughs> what's up, y'all? I'm Khalil Everett. I play Chris on Cobra Kai, and you're watching Monday Morning Critic. So, Good. Khalil, let me ask you, what's it like uh, you and I sharing the sharing the screen with a traitor? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's... That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I, and we're going to get into your characters. How do you guys spend your downtime? Well, we pretty much just, um, yeah, we just, like, hang out after set. Like, uh, we, we like to go to the gym sometimes, or we'll just, like, chill in each other's rooms and watch TV and crap. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and I find that, like, with with um, with Nathan and um, Owen, I feel like their friendship on off screen develops on screen. Do you guys feel like, because you guys are such good friends, I don't think it's a secret, you guys feel like it adds to what goes on on screen, or is that is that a reach? You think? Yeah, um, definitely. I think it definitely does because you know we we we're very comfortable with each other off screen. You know, we we're very touchy people, and and, and, and we say whatever we want to each other. So I think our uh, the fact that we're just so comfortable with each other off screen. It it is kind of where we be super comfortable with each other on screen. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is sometimes counterproductive on scenes where we're supposed to be like fighting and hating each other because like um, <laughs> there's the one scene at the water park where like we're yelling at each other and like I'm just going at it like I'm literally saying I love you I'm gonna kiss you right now <laughs> like, you can't see it you just like see me going <laughs> so like we, we play around like that like whatever we're supposed right. to be fighting it's like oh yeah oh yeah like <laughs> it was when we were doing the uh, fighting scene on the uh, oh my god we, were, we it was like the big brawl. I promise you some of that got cut because we were laughing. I, <laughs> I promise you some of it got cut because we were laughing. Because it was it was just so because the camera wouldn't be on us and we'll literally start pinching each other like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. And I bet you guys off camera let it fly. I mean, I, I can only really imagine the stuff you talk about. I mean, I, I remember being 21, 22 in, in your age. Boy, I those were some of the best years of my life. You guys must have so much fun with each other. Right. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and, and you're have to check for the mics on us. Like, where we'll be like, Holy crap, are you mic'd? Like, <laughs> what we're saying. <laughs> and I feel like your characters couldn't be any different, right? Because I feel like Mitch kind of wavers once in a while where he wants to be. But, but, but when it comes to Chris, like, please give me if, if I'm in a foxhole in a war, I want Chris next to me. Like, he's <laughs> always going to be, he's not going to leave me. Not that Mitch is a horrible person, but he does kind of go, you know, do I have your characters down? Do you think that's accurate? Yes, he's a horrible yeah. person. I'm a I, great person. That's, well, not, I love that myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's not exactly what I said, but you know, um, I like, and I was telling you guys, I just finished season five. What an incredible season, huh? Did you did, did can you are you able to enjoy it as much as like me who had nothing to do with filming or, or watching it? Can you enjoy it knowing what's gonna happen in some parts? Is is the enjoyment still there for you? Well, that's kind of my trick is I um I, I don't read the scripts. So like I'll 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 just read my parts, like like scenes that have me in it. Yeah. Um sometimes I'll have to like read ahead, like see what's going on. But like most of the time, like I do want to just like read my parts. That way it is fresh when I'm seeing it. Um in the like like yeah, when I'm when I'm seeing it as soon as it comes out for the first time. Cause I I cause I did get that big reveal at the end with like Crease and all that, where I was like, oh, well, like it didn't did not see that coming. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you think? I kind of um I feel like the script side, you know, the way you read it on the script is not how it's like I could kind of see it just because I know everybody and I know kind of how they're gonna play it, but at the same time, it's like you'll read it in the script and it's whole different yeah. like in the fighting, you know what I'm saying? You can't even you can't even script yeah. that stuff, so it's like that's always gonna be like because we're not there for for all the fights. We're not a lot of the fights. We might be on the outside of it and then and watching it live. And, but but a lot of the fights, especially the the one with uh, Miguel and Robbie, yeah. The, when they got to cool and stuff like that, I read that. Oh my, it it read so much differently than it played on screen. It, yeah, it, it, it's amazing what you guys do. And I'm gonna take a pause before you go into to to Cobra Kai because there's a bunch of stuff I want to talk about. You know, you guys getting into acting, I'll start with you, Aiden. 
faster you were in faster which is fantastic that's the rock's best movie anybody that argues that's wrong it is, <laughs> it is the rock's best movie you know hangover two young alan ted and khalil my god beats the most underrated show on television is a chai it's one of the best shows on tv I, I can't believe more people don't talk about that show uh <laughs> And, and, and you guys are both established actors, and and I see that. And I was watching a YouTube clip just before I got on here, and a guy was breaking down both of your characters. And he says, you know, you guys are kind of the heartbeat of the show, right? We have our characters that everybody knows, you know, uh, Robbie and Miguel, I get it. But it's like you guys with those moments that drive the show. It's a really underrated thing that the two of you do, and I hope people notice. I think they do. I hope they notice what the two of you do for that show. Absolutely. I feel, yeah. like, I feel like people definitely notice what we do on that show. Yeah, yeah. So we get a lot of love. Both of us get a lot of love. So. And it's well, it's well deserved love too. I mean, uh, you know, and, and I have to say, you know, um, there was a lot of love in season five because I feel like I saw a lot of each of you in season five. It wasn't like okay, this episode, but not that episode. I really feel like the two of you were on my screen quite a bit. Did you? Did you feel there was a was it a change from other seasons or was it about on par for you? It was it was strange because like filming wise it didn't feel like we were were there as much but then like just with the with how smooth like the story went and just like th like this season like it just it it did feel like it was just like one continuous story like I like apparently this is supposed to be our longest season yet like time wise but everyone who I've been talking to they're like it was so quick like it was over so quick it was just like it yeah. felt like yeah. Yeah, there's some shows there where I no, look like, wait, like there was no like filler gap. It felt like like it just felt like everything had a purpose, like all the whole way through. Yeah, and, and there's some shows where, I, and I hate doing this, where I'm looking at my cell phone. It's like, oh, is it almost over? Like, and I don't want to give up on it. I am never like that with Cobra Kai. I'm, I am all in on it. You know, I am all in on that. Um, uh, are there other shows that you guys binge that you you're all into? I mean, I've heard other interviews you've done, Khalil. I've heard you talk a little Game of Thrones. I've heard. Uh, Aiden, you talk some stuff. Is there other shows, maybe Stranger Things, and anything out there that you really are, are all into? Yeah, I, I did um, binge um, uh, Stranger Things and Witcher. Like uh, uh, Squid yeah. Games was a really good one. We saw really that at the yeah, um, no, Netflix Emmys party. That thing was cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, does it ever sink in how popular this is? I mean, I know your Instagram accounts; they, they blow up. They're great, and they're and, you know you guys are well deserved. Does it ever hit home for you? How 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 popular this is? Does it ever? Do you ever have to pinch yourself, or are you the kind of people that can process things and take it slowly? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, like, yeah, it is, yeah, it is a little bit crazy because it's like to say like it, it's the number one show in the world. Like, I think it was like since okay. what is it? Like season two or three, we've just been uh, getting the number one spot. Like, I can tell world. my kids, hey. <laughs> 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 Back in his heyday, oh, he was on the number one show. I don't even know Netflix still gonna be around, but your boy. But, but you know what's great is like I I might have I refuse to like when it first came out. I didn't want to watch <laughs> it because I'm like there's no way they're gonna they're gonna make this successful. I was worried about it. Every, a lot of people said that, and if they didn't, they're lying. Um, but you know, I came for the guys like Johnny and and and, and uh, Larusso, and then I'm introduced to you guys, and I like you guys. So people came to the show for different reasons, but in the end, they all love the same thing. Right, yeah. I mean, it, it's it, a lot of badassness yeah. going on. Uh, let me ask you this: So, I have, I'm, I'm dying to talk. I've been dying to talk to you guys about this. So, not the actor, the character. What character that's not an adult do you dislike the most? Not the actor. I'm not so so. Like, say, if, I know who I dislike the most, but like, who do you dislike the most? Not as an actor, but as the as the character they portray. <laughs> because I don't think that because if you say you hate the character, you hate the actor. That's no, not no, I know the people who yeah. I hate. I'm trying yeah. to think. No, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, um, God, I'm trying to think. So I'll get, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you who I like. Just, yeah. to, just to, so, so yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so one of the things that hit me with with season five was that you know I I'm not a big Sam fan i'm not a big fan because i think she was picking i tori i think when she gets to tori's house and she sees everything that tori's been going through like how she didn't know that three years before is unbelievable to me you know mm -hmm. uh and, and i felt like sam spent a lot of season five in her, in her staring at her cell phone like there was there's things with sam i'm not a fan of the character mary's a phenomenal actor i'm not saying that same okay yeah, yeah. I, so, I, so, I definitely okay. feel like though in general like there is a lot of miscommunication like a lot of problems would have been solved if people would have just talked it yes. through yes Yes. Instead of just like assuming and running off and being like, I gotta go kill this person now and like leaves. Yes. So yeah, yeah, like yeah. 
my mine is uh so Hannah is a very intelligent person. <laughs> and mind you, I don't really have scenes with her. Yeah. But when I see her on screen, she just be sounding so slow. I'll be like, oh my God. <laughs> Why they make your character so slow? <laughs> she's so smart. Like when you talk to that person, she's so smart. You know what I'm saying? You know, she's not that, you know what I'm talking about? But you watch her character, it's like, oh my God, she's so slow. <laughs> I, I gotta say I I agree. I, I, that's a good take. Like that's a great take. Did you are you Aiden? Do you have one or, or is it or is it still coming to you? Good good one. No, it, it, it was pretty much like in a, in a way it was like a like not everyone just like in, in that sense of like the the characters that would just like not talk things through and just like jump to conclusions. So like um, like how you're saying like like uh, Samantha and like um yeah. Yeah, yeah. solutions. Yeah. I'll tell you. I'll tell you another unpopular take I have. I, I'm all in for Kenny. Like, like, screw you, Anthony Larusso. Like, all of a sudden, you don't want to be picked on after you started this whole thing. Like, I don't blame Kenny. I'm not saying like I condone violence or like there shouldn't be peace or. But like, I get where Kenny's coming from. Like, you put me through hell when I first got here. Like, because you saw the light. Screw you. I mean, I, is that a crazy take? You guys think? Hey, hey, the poop in the toilet is crazy. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's a little over the top. That person. That's crazy. Yeah, um, but I mean, like, like pretending you're a girl and, and really hurting somebody's feelings—that's vulnerable too, right? Uh, yeah. Th that's 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 shit, but in a different way, you know. That's just yeah. yeah that's yeah. you know, um, guys. What do you think of the theory? And I don't know if you guys know anything about season six. I, I don't know how much they tell you guys. I don't know. Uh, but I was reading a theory today online, and I, I usually those theories are crazy. But this one isn't. I, I I think there's a lot to it. I think Terry Silver is 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 terminally ill. Um, I think he is. I, I think he's sick. He's, you know, the pills um, that they mentioned doctor. He sees Johnny in the hospital. Um, I mean, I, I, obviously, if you guys know this, I don't, I don't think they started writing it or if you know the script. But what's your take on that? Do you think Terry Silver is is, is indeed sick? Like After hearing all that, like now that sounds kind of like a interesting thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like that's, that sounds, sounds plausible. Yeah. Clue, what do you think? I don't know, Clue. <laughs> I don't know. I don't uh, think he's sick. They could make him sick. He, uh, what you talking about, like cuckoo, like crazy? No, no, no. I mean, like cancer, uh, sick. Uh, uh, I, I think he's, I, I think he's trying to, to, to get these dojos into across whatever. Not because he's evil, but because he wants to leave something behind. He doesn't have kids. He's trying to like leave. It. I think the only evil person on the show is is Crease. I think he's just downright <laughs> terrible. Um, I, I think probably another unpopular take. I think Terry Silver is not as bad. Um, as he's coming across and I, I could be wrong but yeah when I say sick I think he's I, I think he, but when the show starts to kind of find its way towards the closure um, I think we're gonna end up liking him but that's just that's just my philosophy what do you guys think crazy yeah. you know like like with crazy like, like I mean with um silver like it you, like pretty much like it said at like towards the end of the show like he pretty much just wanted everyone out of his way like he just wanted to like do his thing like like he, he already won he Guaranteed the win, but he did win, and it's just like he, he doesn't want any more interference. <laughs> he, my, he, one of my, he, he probably my favorite character on the show, to be honest. Crease, no, so uh, Terry Silver, good call. I agree, I agree. Not, not for that reason, not for no, that no. Reason. Yeah. My reason is because I, I just I think that I like the way he handles his business, yeah. And, <laughs> and, and, and even when he's, you know what, clearly, you're right. When, when even when he's when he's pissed off. Like you'll never be able to tell because he he swallows it and, and he's very Ooh, like he did um um like how he did uh Daniel uh, when they was talking by the pool uh, yes it was smooth motherfucker Ooh. yeah <laughs> yeah at the at the fu at the fundraiser yeah he was he, like he he knew how to bait him without being yelling and you know that I I agree who's your favorite what's who's a character that you like a lot Aiden. Oh yeah, no. Since like since the um, original series, like it, it was Crease. Yeah, like I mean, no, no I'm sorry, uh, Silver. Just like the yeah, yeah, just like the intensity, just like him like and, going crazy. He, he he said that a long time ago. He said yeah, that yeah. two years ago that 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 Silver was his favorite character. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. yeah, excellent, excellent. And, and what, what's your take on what Zapka said recently, where he wants to make this into a universe with spinoffs and movies? That's got to be nothing but good news to to the two of you, right? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Have like a whole like WWE thing going on with us. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you guys have a great W. I mean, you, wrestling fans are all over the two of you. I mean, like, I mean, <laughs> forget the Karate Kid stuff and the Cobra Kai stuff. I mean, people love you for that alone. 
Uh, right. would, would, would you like to see this turn into a movie? Do you feel like this is we could do this? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, like I like I wonder what what they would I feel like the movie would be the finisher in a way, but I don't know like how they would do it. Like would it just out it would it be sort of like uh, Cobra Kai goes international or something really quick like we just like go out of like the world I don't know. Well, I, I think I think <laughs> a Cobra Kai movie would would kick ass at the theaters. Like I think people yeah. would see I think that would be like it would set records. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not putting it in Top Gun Maverick, but I mean, I would say people are going to go. I mean, no, no question about it. Um, yeah. but you know what the thing is, and it's amazing how they do this in the show. Like, like if you really think about it, can you imagine if adults did this? Like they had kids jumping off a roof, one roof to another, or, or like, or in a cement truck, or yeah. like, or like breaking into each other's houses. It would be the craziest thing. But what Cobra Kai does, and the way the writers and everything met, like it's unbelievably beautiful the way it all flows together. <laughs> like it's. Do you guys get that same impression? Yeah, like it's still somewhat grounded in reality, but like they still get to go do all this crazy stuff, like with um, what was it, Stingray getting the restraining order against all the kids after yeah. all of them? So yeah, yeah. And, 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 and Clue, you were talking earlier about um, oh shit, I lost my train of thought. Um, it, it'll it'll come to me, but yeah, it, it's the idea. Oh yeah, it was the writing, the way it sits on the script doesn't always come across the way it, it, it's played out, right? So. It's almost like it comes across even more, even more effective with the actors that they have. That, that, that what the two of you do and everybody else does. Like, that's the trick. It's great writing, but it's also what you guys can do with that writing, right? Right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, have the two of Making you in the comic? Our own. What, what was that, Cleo? Making it our own. We all yeah. do, aren't we? That's right. Uh, yeah. and, and and I feel like you know we talk about Stranger Things. I mean, that show is run pretty much by two or three people. I feel like this is not the case with Cobra Kai. It is the ultimate like team effort. You know, it's a team. It's a team, uh, literally a team thing. Um, have the two of you been to Comic Cons as guests? Uh, you know, with seeing fans. Have you guys done that yet? Not, no, not yet. Yeah, I haven't been to one yet. Oh, I mean, I, I don't know what Comic Cons are, are waiting for. Like, get get off your ass and ask these two. Like, I mean, I think you guys would love it. Like, there's one in Rhode Island, and a lot of your castmates are going. If you two were there, it would be off the chart. Like. Hundred percent. I'm not. I'm not saying to make you feel better. Like it would be, you two would be mobbed. I think. Yeah. Is that, so, is that something you would love to do? Uh, uh, Comic cons. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, like yeah, I just, for sure. I just haven't really looked into it. I had uh, somebody reach out to me about it. But I yeah. Just haven't really got on it for real. Yeah. yeah th and, and, and there's there's no question that that, that, that each of you um that, that each of you would, would, would do it. And and I, and I love what, uh, what, what Machio says about Cobra Kai. He calls it comfort food. You agree with that? Yeah. You know, it's like, it's, you don't, you don't, you don't need it, but when you watch it, it is so damn good. Like it is. It, so Machio calls it comfort food. Um, what's it like working with those two, um, meeting those two? Do, do you find that, um, is it surreal because of the, 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 the legendary status that those two have behind them? Um, what are your experiences? Like anything you want to share? I, I don't know how to describe it, but it does feel like there's like a presence around them. Like yeah. when, like when, like when you see them, when you walk by them, it's like, like there's just something there. I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. Then no, they are really cool guys. They're like they're very like friendly, down to earth, um, like talkative. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they're, yeah, yeah, they're just they're just like overall nice guys. Like honestly, yeah. <laughs> I feel like with me, it's like. Uh, I kind of I, I I I look up to people that are doing things or had done something that I wanted to do that I want to do in my life. So anybody, if you if you successful in any way, like I'm looking up to. You. So with those two, it's like they were like my age or younger when they started. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that they still a lot of things that uh like was preached to to me as a kid. It was like. You can do the entertainment stuff, but it's not gonna last. It's not gonna last. It's not gonna last. Uh, but but and, but seeing them, you know, and seeing how their careers just, you know, just kind of went. You know. What yeah. I'm saying? yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I how get it. What they're doing, it's like I, I don't want nothing but some gems from y'all for sure. You know, I, every time they talk to talk to me, I'm full ear to hear everything you gotta say. Uh, what What's the nicest thing they've said to each of you? That you, I mean, I'm sure they said many things, but what, what's what's the thing that you remember that they've said to you, or, or a piece of advice, anything? Uh, really, season three, season three, uh, they both knew my name. <laughs> wow! So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it was I get like, it. 
and it, and it was just like, and it was just like, I don't know. It was, and it's just like it come click my brain. It was like, dang, they fuck with me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was, and it, it, and from then on, they they nothing but praise me and say how good I am. They can't wait to to work with you again next year. It's just it's nothing but good vibes with both of them. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it is really like surreal. Like like when we went to like the Cobra Kai premiere, um, and like all of them were there. And like I like I I saw Crease walking by and I was like, oh hey, great job on the show by the way. And he was like, oh thanks, you too. I watched it. You did so great. And it's like to like so like someone that like I watched and like looked up to before, nice. and then like he sees me on screen now and he's like, you did a good job. Like that's just yeah, like, awesome. that's like, hot. Yeah. That's hot. See, see, that's like that's it's behind the scenes that like people, yeah, people see, think you see yourself on television, but it's those. It's like what Cleo was saying, like it's the interaction you have with them off camera. Watching them work, watching their careers, like right. as actors, you guys, that, that's like that's the best acting class there is. That's the best. You, you can't pay for something like that. No cap, you can't. Uh, the best line of season five easily goes to Aiden with our dojo has more sausage than this pizza. Clearly, you agree. <laughs> the- Facts. No cap. <laughs> Hey, they cut. Hey, Aiden, bro, they cut the part when I was flirting with with. Uh, remember, I was flirting with the pizza. Oh God! Remember that? Yeah, I, I you were it. you were flirting with the pizza. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but do they let you guys? Do, yeah. <laughs> do they let you guys? So one of the things I noticed because I love like Nike, Adidas, Puma, Champion. I love the way. I hope, maybe I'm the only one that notices this. The clothes you guys wear are awesome. Like, does it? I mean, and it's not like cheesy stuff. It's really cool stuff. Back. Like, do they let you keep that, or they do they yank that back? Like, I steal it. <laughs> I, 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 if 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 it ends up missing, they're not gonna say nothing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I just I just go home with it. I go home wearing it, or I put it in my backpack if I really think it's something cool. Like, definitely, uh, definitely have a thousand pair of socks for sure. Like, oh yeah, this is the shirt <laughs> right. that I, I'm never taking my I'm never taking my socks off. I refuse to to remove my socks. This is that's the shirt I do the reveal with. I, that's I just. The- Oh, that's that's on that I put that on the screen. That's the same shirt. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's that it. Here. That's fine. <laughs> that's it. Wow. Yeah, and I gotta tell you, you know, we watch you guys watch football, I'm sure, or sports. Like sports teams can only have one sponsor, like Nike Adidas. Cobra Kai is so smart to say, you know what? Bring it all in. We'll take the champion, we'll take Adidas, we'll take Nike, Reebok, whatever, Puma. Um, smart stuff. And I thought the clothes are freaking beautiful. Like it's, it, it, it's an underrated part of it. Um, is there, is there something that, um, is difficult for you? So how long are the filming days for you guys? Um, I think the more difficult <laughs> thing is like, like they are very long, but like the, the timing of them can be like weird too. Cause it's like, sit like, uh, since we're adults now, there's like that, like, but when when you're under 18, there's like a thing called pumpkin time or whatever. We're only allowed to work a certain amount of hours, and also you can't come back to set after a certain amount of hours. Nathan so, was talking about that where he he it drove him crazy. I think he hated Nathan uh, Nathaniel. Oh, hated that. He, yeah, especially because there was schooling too on top of that. So you had to like have and bank hours. So you oh. had to literally just like. So like it didn't matter if you were already done with all your homework. Like you had to be in school for a certain amount of hours while on set to make sure kids are getting their required amount of education and stuff. And it's like, so yeah. if, if, if you're done with your homework, they literally have to just watch you like sit in that room and you can like play games or whatever, but like, you just have to be in that room for a certain amount of time. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, the one thing I did want to talk about guys, thank you for all this time. Uh, the one thing I wanted yeah. to talk about was um, it was really refreshing. Finally that Johnny and um, Daniel finally like saw each other as friends. Not- I guess you could say friends, right? You know, there's that beautiful scene where he finds out Johnny's going to be a dad. Like I was, so, like I felt like the the those two going head to head, it was like enough. Like these two, the the relationship in season five is one of the most beautiful things about the show in season five. Do you agree? Definitely, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. My, my my biggest thing is just like, I, it's it's inevitable. They gonna they gonna some gonna happen. Some gonna slip up. And they're going to get right back into it. <sighs> yeah. There's, there's, there's always, there's always going to be some friction. To see them understanding each other. My the One, one funny thing was when he was like, uh, he went into uh, uh, Billy, not Billy. Uh, Johnny. Johnny's, Johnny's uh, house. 
and he was drunk. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And he was like, and Johnny was like, bro, you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing right now? Are you acting like me right now? Yeah, yeah. It, 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 uh, he was, Johnny, by Johnny standards, had like a normal season. Like nothing was really crazy that he said. He was actually kind of getting ready for fatherhood. It was a beautiful season for a lot of reasons and a lot of what, what you guys are saying. Uh, I, this is, I don't want to throw, throw shade on Hawk, but there's no way in hell I am choosing Hawk over Robbie and, and Miguel. Do you guys agree? <laughs> for that for that fight, what do you think? Khalil? No? Yeah. Jake can kick some ass, man. He's no, I'm not. Again, <laughs> not the actor. I, I mean, like, I'm talking about a martial arts a martial arts point of view, not the actor. No, I'm not. I'm saying is their ability in the show, how strong they are. Oh, how, okay. Yeah, this has yeah. So I want to be clear. I'm not throwing shade on Jay. No, yeah. I, I mean, I mean Hawk as like because they were. Oh, this was something I was supposed to be get on camera. They were they they were talking about it all. What was that fourth season? It was at the end of the season because they don't want to. Oh, it was like some animosity or something. They they was like. But they were supposed to get they, they were supposed to get they won. They were supposed to get because that we everybody wanted to see who gonna win in the fight. So they were supposed to spar and they never sparred. So who <laughs> who who would you pick? Because because when the when they go against each other, who of those three would you take to, for that fight? I fought Jacob a lot. Like we fought a lot. Yeah. yeah. So and he's been able to take my six two so down. So. Yeah. <laughs> so so you're gonna take you're gonna take Hawk. Over. Just because I never, just because I don't even, I, I, I'm never. But Robbie's like super cut, you know what I'm saying? Super sexy and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, but but as characters, Miguel and Robbie, are, you're made to believe that they're the two best fighters on the show, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I think yeah. so. Kind of. I mean, I, I would think. I mean, so I don't know. I, I was a little, and I understand why they did it. I was just surprised they went with Hawk in that shot, in that in that in that position. What do you guys think? No, crazy? Am I? In a way, like both. I feel no. I, I like. It, Kind of, yeah. Like I do feel like, 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 like you were saying, like Robbie's, like Robbie's been through the shit. Like he, like he's had his struggles, and now he's like, at the, like at his best or whatever. So like, but at the same time, like Eli, like Hawk, like he's like always been like a hard, like hard ass badass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys know somebody like Kyler in real life? Somebody huh? that's somebody like Kyler in real life who who maybe is um. I don't know. I mean, I think it's maybe a little insecure. The character, not the actor. You know, do, do do you think that? Um, do you guys know somebody like Kyler in real life, where you know, over the top, uh, maybe a little insecure, trying to mask things. You know, what do you think? Yeah, definitely. You know, trying to throw Kenny into the into the into you know ahead of him, and and, and I don't know. I I I feel like I know people like that in my life. I don't know if you I know guys people that cheat yeah, exactly. like that. Yeah. Well, what was that clear? You know, people that what? So I know people that treat their siblings like that. Yeah, yeah, that, that 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 that's a good point. Um, a scene that you loved from uh, from this past season. I mean, I'm sure there's tons, but um, one that you really wanted to, that you really are proud of, whether you're involved in it or not. Wait, say that one more time. I'm what's a, what's a scene that you loved in season five that you're that you either you were in or not that you really enjoyed a lot? I think it was that um, uh, Robbie and Miguel fight scene. Yeah, that was. Like, I'm just like. Get it like where it was like, <clears throat> was it Johnny taking um, Daniel's advice like right there? He's like, if we would have just like got to hash it out right there, like we would have been friends. And it's like, oh okay, all right, you two beat the crap out of each other now, like <laughs> and just like what, like letting him completely go at it, get it all out of their systems, and just letting him talk it all out the rest of the way. Like you know, I feel like that was like a really well done scene. Yeah, yeah, Khalil. I don't know. Oh, season was great. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys ever in a position when you guys film where, where people are watching from a distance? You know, I know that people film movies like that where people are watching. Is any of your filming in any of the seasons, are there people that aren't involved in the, any production? Are they able to watch or is it all either enclosed or, or you can't get to it? Which mean enclosed? The, so, uh, yeah, yeah, like, but there was, um, like, we have a studio that we film at. Oh, for the right, right. Stuff, and then we also have, like, our Miyagi Dojo is right outside of the studio. Okay. And, like, no one like it's not in, like view at all but like um like there's apartments like next like there there's like a cup like there's like woods there's like a little forest sort of thing um like just like a bunch of trees and then right past that is like a whole apartment complex are you know? asking how easy it is to get on set 
Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I'm at, well, well, like, so there's other, there, there, there was there was exactly. one day where, like, um, we were doing the, uh, do, the, not the, the tournament. The tournament was on a location. Yeah. And there was, like, a bunch of cars that were, like, really far away, like, in, like, the next parking lot, like, watching, like, the whole, like, studio set up and, like, taking pictures of us while we were getting out of our, um, uh, trailers and stuff, like, all in wardrobe and stuff. So, yeah, like, there, there were people on that day on set, but, like, on our actual set, like it's pretty much closed down. Right, right, right. No, because I didn't know because on, there's some shows <laughs> where, the, where where there's somebody they show the filming, but people are are behind like a barrier. You know what I'm saying? Like, but oh then, yeah, I guess, yeah. I guess you're right. A lot of it is on a set, so yeah. I mean, I I, I didn't yeah, know if that was everybody's watching. Everybody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> everybody's on set. If you if you're on set, like it's been a couple of my my friends came came in town. And they came. To set. Other people's friends came come to set. It's like. And everybody's watching. You can watch the whole time. Yeah, they have a thing called Video Village where they'll right. actually like set up a bunch of of uh, mini TVs that show what the cameras are seeing. And, so it's, like, and it's monitors all around. You can watch it the whole time. Man. Right, right, right. Uh, how how much of a, when you guys go to the grocery store, you do your thing in your own personal lives, whatever that is. Uh, uh, do you find there's a lot of fans out there? Do you find that that's a, a tough thing to deal with? Because like again, like I'm thinking of myself in your position. Like for your age, you guys are like freaking ridiculously mature. Like, I mean, I'm 48 and I act like I'm 12. Um, so, like, do you find that when you guys go out on the street in your personal lives, you're noticed a lot? And, and what's that like? Is that an extra kind of not gonna say burden, but is that what's that like? I actually get recognized as Dustin from Stranger Things a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now you say it, there's a resemblance. That I wish you didn't say that, but he's a great actor too, so that's a good thing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, Clue, what about you? <clears throat> I think you look a lot better than Dustin. I'm to think. <laughs> hey, Cleo, what do you think? Of, what do you think of the goatee? I think it looks cool. I think the goatee looks great. You see me? You got one too. You see, I didn't one. notice. That. It might not be a goatee, but it, it's shown there. You're, you're 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 getting it. You're getting it. I like it. I think you guys look great. Keep keep it coming. We're both, we're we're gonna come back next season with beards. You know that's there right. You know. There you go. <laughs> 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 now, when do you start uh, season six? Is that out yet? Um, is that I mean, we um like uh, like I saw on Instagram that like apparently the writers didn't even have like a, a script written yet for it. And when I went to um the one event with all the other people from Cobra Kai, there I even like asked like Mary and Tanner, and I was like, "So have you heard anything about season six? And they're like, "Well, if you have, let us know because we're waiting." <laughs> so yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, I yeah I haven't heard anything about it yet. I guess." Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you, you know, it's crazy because on YouTube, people have analyzed your characters. They analyze you guys. Like, it's insane. Like, there's like the show, and then there's side shows. Like, like for instance, there I was looking at something today. Uh, they were talking about Mitch Aiden, and like he's much stronger than a regular fighter, but he could be beaten easily by the more skilled fighters. But he's tough. And then they they break down who Chris. Is. Like, it's almost like you guys are like real people. The way they look at this, like. Like you're in the MMA and it's it's amazing. Like it's like this whole yeah. universe. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I can't even imagine how you guys handle all this. I, I mean, that's that's really impressive. Clearly, is it hard for you to handle all that? No, really. <laughs> I'll be at, I'll be at the crib playing a game. Yeah. Are you guys gamers? Definitely, yeah. yeah. I play I play like two K. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about sports? Is that something that's big into your life? You guys are you football fans? Are you? What's the sport that 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 you like the most, each of you? I I would go to a lot of hockey games, but I did football when I was in high school. Football. What about you, Clue? Basketball, football. I'm an yeah. athlete, so any sport really. But um, I, I enjoy watching basketball, and football. Uh, uh, Aiden, you're from Atlanta, right? I I was born there, but I don't remember much about it. <laughs> gotcha, uh, Clue. Where were you born? Chicago. Well, that's right. That's right. That's right. It's right. Do you guys do you guys go back there a lot? Is that oh I love that hat. Oh baby blue too. Baby blue. Oh, that is so sweet. That is so sweet. Do you guys go back to it aid in your case, back to Atlanta a lot, or or in your case, back to um back to Chicago a lot? No? Um I I don't um well like pretty much like we, we film in Atlanta, Georgia. So like I, I do like we got to visit those times, but like I don't really I haven't really gone there um, just for fun. Um, I do have a family nearby in uh, North Carolina, so like I will go up there every once in a while to go see them. I do have a lot of family out in Chicago too, actually, so I do go there once in a while. <laughs> Clue? Oh yeah, I'm always in Atlanta. 
<laughs> no, but Chica- you go back to Chicago at all? Oh, or- I live in Chicago. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, okay. Yeah, I live in Chicago, but I'm always in Atlanta. I'm always in Atlanta. Uh, do you find that this um, Cobra Kai has opened up more auditions for other projects for you guys? Because I mean, let's face it. Like we all love Cobra Kai, but like I, I'm cheering for you guys. I want you guys to do bigger and better. I mean, I don't know if there's I don't know if there is bigger and better, but as your <laughs> life gets, as as life gets, you know, as you get older, um, I, I really think you guys have have proven your worth in this show as actors. Let's forget about mm-hmm. everything else. Like Khalil, you're a really good actor. You know, Aiden, you're a really good actor. Like that that has to be mm-hmm. recognized. All this stuff aside, like I interview actors. I don't like I know there's podcasts you guys have been on, and I love listening to them that just focus on Cobra Kai. But there's, you know, there's things that you guys can handle outside of that for sure. Uh, talk yeah. about acting outside of Cobra Kai. Anything you want to say about that? Yeah. Well, it's like my, my mom, she actually is a manager. So she gets to yeah. see all the projects that are coming out and stuff. And like, uh, it, it's kind of weird. Like the, the last, like since COVID, just in general, like projects have like it incredibly slowed down. Like there's just either like projects just got completely canceled or like they weren't. Yeah. yeah just like it, it, it. it Put a huge like wrench in the gears, and the audi- like the whole audition stage is it's just slowly fading. Yeah, it's just because like, before it used to be all in person. Now it's all like over like zooms and um uh self tapes, and I feel like it sort of like in, in a way it can make the like the zooms ruin auditions completely to me personally. Like the, the lag, everything, seeing them on a tiny screen, it's just really weird. Um, but like the, the, the self tapes, because you're able to do it in your room and do it over and over and over again, like you would on a real set, like on a real set, like you don't have to memorize, like you do have to memorize your lines, but like you don't have to memorize like multiple scenes in a row and do them all at once. Like it's, you're able to go, ah, oh, crap, what was that last part line? Because like the camera, it's pointed over there and it's pointed over here. So like it, it can cut all your screw ups and then just like put all the pretty ones up. Like you don't have to get the entire script perfect every time right that's so. that's well said I, I can't even imagine being an actor and like sending in like a zoom where technology could mess with it like if we were in person i could if and i was casting for something i could see what cleo has to offer i could see what aiden you have to offer i don't want you over with my smile <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i just hope you guys get those opportunities because they're so deserved like like i'm really cheering for you guys to get you know other projects uh what's a recent movie you've seen that you've liked a lot do you guys go to the theater a lot uh, there, there's a theater like right next to me. Yeah, I saw the new Elvis movie. That was actually like really well done. <laughs> oh, nice, very nice. Clearly, you said no. You don't go to theaters a lot. I don't. I just saw Wedding Crashes for the first time. I just, <laughs> I've watched it three times since. Oh god. <laughs> and you guys both were at the Emmys, correct? Is that? Do I have that right? No, I wasn't. At the I don't know. I, uh, I just went to the uh, after party uh, for Netflix. Yeah. What did I see? Was it maybe I? Was it the next? I saw something with either one or two of you. Was it the Netflix after party? I might have read about. I, I Probably, know. It, yeah, it was. Um, me and um, me and Dallas uh, took some pictures at the. That uh, must have been it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How was that? Yeah, it was pretty fun. Um, I was because like it, it was a Netflix after party. So, like I was trying to like look around. Like, all right, is anyone from Witcher here or something? Like, I like <laughs> I'm trying to like because I'm trying to remember all the shows that are on Netflix. I'm like, which ones are there? Only people I like really remembered were um, uh, like everyone else from Cobra Kai, and then the people from Squid Games and like Ozark. But uh, yeah, I did. I did. Squid yeah, Game was there. Yeah, yeah. Does the fanboy part of you like like want to go up to him and say, "Hey, man, like you have time for a selfie?" Or is that like not professional? What? Well, um, hey, hello. Well, that's called networking, so it is professional. That's no, right. It. Yeah. Oh, but, if I was an actor, I would have no shame. I would go up to, have, "Hey, you got time for a pic?" Like I. Pfft. I mean, right. you guys have you guys have earned your way. Screw that, you know. Like, I mean, <laughs> do they offer that to everybody? Like, for an after party, can you just like do they say, "Hey, you know, you guys are on the biggest show on our on our streaming service." There's an after party if you want to go. Is that how something like that works, or is it just is it different like that? I don't remember. I think um, I think we actually uh, reached. I forgot if we if we, if we actually had to reach out to them um, because like uh, like some other castmates were already going. So it's like, Hey, can we just go to, and it's like, Oh yeah, come on. Like what's uh, the premiere when they have a Cobra Kai premiere, right? So when they kick off a new season, do they show like the episode in front of a bunch of people? Is it three episodes? What is that like? Cause I always see pictures from a premiere, but I never know what, what goes on at the premiere. That was my first time being to uh, one of our premieres. Um, and I, it pretty much, it was just like a little, like there, there was like a red carpet, 
um, where we got all of our photos and there was like areas where we got to meet fans and like take pictures with them and like sign stuff for them. And then uh, there was like a bunch of food trucks. So like, you know, you don't have, you know, you don't get hungry or thirsty while you're there. You know, there's right. all the stuff there, all the necessities. And then um, just like at a certain time, they had the giant projector screen um, play the first two episodes. Oh, that's and, cool. That's and really we cool. Also went right home after that one, yeah. <laughs> Khalil, were, were you at the premiere? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were right next to each other. <laughs> oh, how, how, how did you like it, Khalil? It was fun. I ain't seen everybody in like, for like eight, nine months. So, yeah. It's like December. See, and I talk about the two of your friendships, but I also have to remember that you're you're friends with a lot of other people too. It's not just the two of you, which I know I, I get that, but um, it's like a family. So like Khalil's saying, you know, he he gets a chance there, he gets to see other people. That must be like a it's like a homecoming of sorts, right, Khalil? Yeah, definitely. Facts. Facts. Uh, do they do they cheer like crazy at the premiere? Like even though you're part of the show, is it fun to watch yourselves? Like that's got to be a cool thing. Like oh yeah, I'm screaming go every day. <laughs> 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 that's great that I mean, and I, I can't even imagine how, how fun that is for you guys um uh one last thing for, for for each of you um what what is around the corner for for either of you is is there auditioning going on what is what's happening in your lives anything you want to share uh Cleo, i was looking at you you had a project called the crusade is that right do i have that right yeah they're still looking for a buyer it's with um uh, uh that was a great cast I was looking at. It's a pretty good cast. Uh, they're still looking for a buyer for it. But that's common looking for a buyer. That happens all the time. Like That's yeah. not like uncommon. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Movie, movies sometimes get made six, eight years and, and then drop. So, yeah. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. yeah. I saw the cast and, and I read about the movie a little bit. It's It seems like it's it's freaking great. Like, I don't know why who yeah. wouldn't. It's a comedy. It's like a, it's, a, it's, it's raunchy. It's really raunchy. Yeah. Okay. I guess. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's my first comedy, so I'm excited. Oh, but very nice, very nice. Uh, Aiden, um, yeah, just uh, living life, hanging out. Uh, I got trying to get better on social media, so you know, just at Aiden Minx on Instagram and Twitter, you know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and, and the two of you, uh, clear. What's your Instagram? I have I had your Instagram on, but because of the three box, I couldn't fit all of everything on. Anything you wanted to say, clear about your clear average. Yeah. What's that like the Instagram? I mean, do you guys oftentimes see people just like reaching out to you nonstop? I mean, I see the comments on your posts. Um, even that I feel like is overwhelming because the two of you have a significant amount of followers. Like it's no joke. I mean, um, I would have to believe that that's overwhelming too. people <laughs> always reaching out to you. And I don't know. I feel like with what comes with what you guys do, it's well deserved, but I feel like sometimes it can't be easy for you. Yeah, for me, it's just like, <clears throat> about like finding content like in a way like i don't i don't want to just like t take pictures of my food and post them like <laughs> i was like i don't know like I, my, my biggest thing is just like trying to find like things to post because like if when you're if you're like inactive for too long then people will like start to unfollow and stuff like that and like yeah, yeah oh, that's more yeah. stuff so it's just like i don't know <laughs> yeah 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 khalil is that is that a whole different part of it the social media aspect yeah with, with me it's kind of like I got my people already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of interact with the same couple of people. I'm not really. I, like, I'm. I kind of just let my Instagram just kind of sit, post pictures, or whatever. Yeah, and and, and, and it was, some pictures for some behind. I just ain't even. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I had I had a couple Stranger Things kids on, and they, and they said they had um. They Who's like that on here? I had Fred. Remember Fred? He was the guy that dies at the beginning. He he, he gets that. I had um, yeah. Wayne Wayne who plays Eddie Munson's uncle. I, I've had like three or four different different guests on, um, and, and I feel like they, they talk about well not not the, not the adult but the, the kid who played Fred. He's, they, they have like a group chat like a you know on um, in the cell phone. Do you guys have a group chat where you guys just like mess with each other and, and have fun? Yeah. Well, we don't talk as much anymore, in it, but we have one. Aiden was was messing it up because he had an Android for for it. Oh yeah. Oh, you have the green screen, the green bubble. Oh my. yeah, yeah. It would like oh. split up the text all weird. So like, I don't know, like like to, like me and a couple other people had Android. So like it would it would make the group chat group chat all weird. <laughs> We gotta get you. We gotta get you. We're good now. We're good now. Well, now now I got one. Like it was funny. One day we were in the group chat and I responded. And then Khalil said he saw my blue bubble, and then he immediately FaceTimed me. He was like, you got an iPhone now? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> that's, 
yeah, yeah, that's great. I mean, it's and it's the memories you guys have created, man. It's just like you could just tell. Um, I don't know. I, I can't think of a show that has done what you've done to people of all ages, like people that are seven and people that are seventy. Like I'll tell you from this show, and this will be the last thing I say. Thank you for all this time. I've had um a bunch of I had Mariel Woods, who's the director, who's one of my favorite guests ever. She directed a couple episodes. Just the things she has to say about you guys, like it's just really it's really fun to hear. And and I don't know. I've seen you guys in other shows, the respect you give to hosts like hacks like me and another podcast host. I don't know. You guys are good people and, and I and I really cheer for you moving forward. And um I really appreciate all the time you've given me, guys. No problem. Thank you guys. And I'll I'll send you some... way more praise than we deserve, man. Appreciate no, no, I, I feel like no I, I almost feel like you're under I almost feel like you're underrated a little bit. And I and I always cheer cheer for the underdog and I and, and, and I um I'll continue to do so guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I appreciate yeah. it. You're, you're... Thank you for listening to Derek Thomas and Monday Morning Critic Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, you can also connect with Monday Morning Critic on Instagram and Facebook, MDM Critic on Twitter, subscribe on Apple Podcasts or wherever podcasts are found. All episodes available, www.mmcpodcast.com.